what is your what is your tip around balancing I don't think being a dad, having this company? There are elements you have to compromise, right? And so for me, I don't I won't compromise around my family. And then, but I, I I haven't worked out in like three months, so that's a huge compromise. I was went, I lie, I went to yoga last weekend. But you do yoga. I, I work out Occas at night. Occasionally, you'll see him do a headstand here in the office. Yeah, but it's true. One thing that we both have done. Um, I'm on my my second cleanse. Um, which we, uh, the press juicery delivery has been so amazing. So nice to us. And so sure. we feel like we're doing something healthy, even Here's though. I just drink one. Yeah, mine's here. Um, and this, this isn't a gimmick. This no, is really true. for real. It's your it's true. We, uh, we, we have press uh, delivered to us because we feel like, you know, since we can't really, we don't have time for the gym, we want to run home uh, to our kids whenever we can and so if we can at least put something in our bodies that's healthier uh, and, and uh, gives us energy um, then that's what we're doing. Starting this year I did this electronic sabbatical on Sundays so on all day Sunday I do not pick up my phone or really sit at my computer and it really helps me to like okay I need to do something else because normally you're like doing and answering and engaged. And you taught me which I didn't know but to put the phone on airplane mode so when you're charging your cell phone, if, especially if you have it next to your bed, mm -hmm. um, or any parent that has an iPad or an iPhone um, around their children, to put it on airplane mode before they play with it, because... Um, it turns off that reception and that potential radiation risk for young babies and children. The big one that Chris She's said, another <laughs> big one, other than the airplane mode on the phone, right um, when you're charging, especially if it's next to your bed, do not have that thing on. Yeah. Um, is uh, taking your shoes off. Yeah, that's my big one. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a great study, it's called the doormat study, and they said if you took your shoes off at the door, you could prevent over 80% of the lead dust that's coming into your home just by taking your shoes off. And that's just lead. So imagine the petroleum-based products, the grime, the soot, every other type of bacteria and nasty you do not want in your home. You really want to kick off the shoes before you walk in the house. That's another good tip.